evening everyone. This is ASMR Cozy Doors and today we're going to be taking a tour of my Hogwarts castle made out of Lego. Now this castle was very kindly gifted to me by my husband and some of my friends who surprised me with it on my 24th birthday which was really nice this is where I keep half of my castle on top of the cupboard in my study I haven't actually finished it yet so I'll be showing you two parts today Everything had to be built from scratch. All of the rock faces you saw, each little piece, took me several hours. I really enjoyed making the courtyard, which you can see here. And a scene that I always remembered from the films in the courtyard was in the fourth Goblet of Fire when the Bobadans Academy and Durmstrang arrive at Hogwarts. This is where all the students congregate. It of course features many other times in the books and the films and has quite a lot of important scenes. We move up. You can see the points of the castle. Down below the door even opens, which is a really nice touch. Coming around the castle, you can see that the light filters really beautifully through each of the windows. sustained glass effect. This was really beautiful and probably my favourite part of the castle to put together. As well as each of the lantern lights that you can see around, around the great hall and the side of the castle. Now if you go around you can see the inside details with some Dementors guarding the castle. Here we have the inside of the main hall where each of the children, each of the children, each of the students spend a lot of their time feasting with dinners. At the front we have the teacher's table, the special chair just for Dumbledore. Each of the houses are symbolized here on the flags, beginning with Ravenclaw, and then you can see Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. You can also see from the main hall the wall that each of the rules had been hammered onto. This comes across in the movie with Professor Umbridge. Down here we have the Chamber of Secrets. You can see the snake. I found this to be quite a scary part in all of the movies. It's 
It's one of my favorite films still to this day. This is the door that first opens to the Chamber of Secrets. And Harry has to say something in possible tongue. Well, actually, I think he says that in another movie. But you get the picture. Here we have the moving staircase. One of the main towers, and on top of that, you can see Dumbledore's office. And the really cool feature from this castle is that the stairs move. Which was probably one of the things that I was most excited about before I opened the box. Because this was something that I already know about. Here you can see the fat lady portrait hung back on the wall. After she was used. Actually come to think of it, maybe that's not the fat lady. I think she does feature in the first film though, on the door. Here we have the abandoned bathroom, girl's bathroom, and it is so because Moaning Myrtle, the house ghost, still resides there. And you can also see the mermaid. This is the eagle staircase that turns where you can find your way up to Dumbledore's office. This is quite a grand place to have the office and I really like this because this is exactly in the castle where, where Dumbledore's office is. It's a very accurate representation from the books and the film. Here we have the Thorntail Dragon. Now, this also comes from one of the great films, The Goblet of Fire, which I've watched far too many times, if I'm to be honest. And it was probably one of the scariest dragons. And of course, Harry got it. Here you can see the Gryffindor's common room. A cozy little space with a little fire. The common room of Gryffindor is very warm and inviting, and it's definitely part of the box that makes me really, really to Hogwarts is because you get to stay there and you get to live there. Here we have the fat lady on the front door. <laughs> and on this side of the castle you can see the library. Now the library of course is Hermione's main place. And it doesn't feature a whole lot in the films, just a little bit. And my favourite part is from the second film where she first figures out about Polyjuice Potion. And I like that you can actually see through the windows. They let light in. Here I have opened the doors so that you can see Dobby on the other side. Now, of course, Dobby doesn't actually come with the castle. He's just a minifigure that I have from another collection of mine and happens to be there now. Here you can see the amazing hinges of the doors. And the incredible boats that are moving along in the water. Ok, 
can also see the beautiful bridge, beautiful bridge and you can also see the four house founders up on the top of the building and over here you can also see the now up on the top you can see Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. They came with the set, but of course they don't go there. That's just a part of the castle that I've yet to complete. But I believe that it's only the turrets of the castle that still require building. around to the other side you can see these are Devil's Snare from the first movie Harry, Ron and Hermione get stuck in on Paddock's bird then we also have the next phase where they have to catch a key Harry has to catch a particular rusted old key and he has to do it on his broomstick and then of course the iconic chess piece scene where Ron really gets to show some of his skills and true colours moving up this is one of the most neat stickers that comes with the whole castle the chamber of secrets This is the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom and I really like that you can see the Cornish Pixies and they feature in the second film, the second book, The Chamber of Secrets. Now of course they couldn't include all of the moments in each of the rooms. But I think they did really well to choose the most important parts throughout each of the castle. Here we have Professor, Professor Umbridge's office, of course all in pink. And my favourite part of this is the lampshade. Each time you open a packet of Lego from this set you always notice the different pieces that are unique. Here we come to the final scene, the Philosopher's Stone, while they are going through the trapdoor, I believe that's supposed to be the Philosopher's Stone on the floor there, this is where Harry looks in the mirror and faces Voldemort for the first time, it's quite a scary scene really. I remember always finding Voldemort the most scary when he was on the back of it. Now this is my favourite room in the entire castle. This is Snape's potion glass. It's my favourite because it actually has some of the coolest pieces of Lego you can see. Including the little purple bottle. I thought I'd get this out and show you because this is my favourite piece in the whole entire set. It's just so cute. They were really clever and thoughtful as to the design of the stickers and how they tastefully complemented each of the rooms. Moving over to the side, I think you have some form of stall cupboard. Either that or it's supposed to symbolise the vaults at Gringotts Bellatrix Lestrange where all of the random items fly everywhere and even though even though that's not in Hogwarts it's quite neat how they still included it as an important scene if you I hope that you 
you enjoyed this. And please give it a like and a thumbs up. Now, the box that this came in was quite grand. Here you can see what it looks like all put together. This is what the outside looks like. Eventually I'm going to get a display cabinet for it because there are so many little pieces that I just, I just don't want to lose. Now there are other pieces that of course the castle comes with that I haven't included in this video. You did see the boats. As you will see as I turn the box over, there are some items that also are included, such as Hagrid's hut and the Whomping Willow. The Whomping Willow came with a very cute car, which was quite fun to build. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up.